<laughs> go ahead and lay all the way down on the floor and press up onto elbows. <sighs> oh. so hard. And I tell you, that's the thing about that plank. If you really focus on flexing in the front, it's much harder. You can't last five minutes. Like sometimes people just sort of hang in their joints in order to last longer, or they stick their butt really high in the air. Um, things like that as, as patients, but a super hard plank, if you're flexing, doesn't need to last long to get the benefit up on elbows. So you get a stretch in the abs here. If you want this to be more, you can put your hands flat on the floor next to your chest and then push up into upward dog. If you push all the way up with straight elbows, then reach through the top of the head, get your ears away from your shoulders. So you're not sitting heavy wow. in the shoulder carriage. And then lower down. All right, reach back, grab one foot, the heel, the ankle, the top of the foot, gently pull that leg, that heel toward your butt, and then push that hip bone toward the floor. And switch other leg. Pull it in gently, don't feel pain in the knee, then push the hip bone down, deepens the stretch without pulling on the knee joint. All right, roll over onto your back. We're gonna do a couple leg things, so we'll hit um, hamstring will hit my T-band area. We'll get a twist. So lying on your back, knees bent, one leg up toward the sky. Grab that leg, pull the toes back toward the shin, straighten the knee, push up through the heel, down through the tail, make the back of the leg long, hold. Don't let that tail peel up, push it back down. It might mean that your leg doesn't go as close to your torso as you'd like. It's okay, you just need to feel stretch. All right, I should have said right side, left side, but let's say you're holding your right leg up like I am. Now turn it to the right. So point your toes to the right. If your left leg is up in the sky, it goes left. Now you feel that stretch move to the outside of that thigh. If that feels challenging, this is a good variation for you. It's kind of stretching in the IT band area. Are you able to go back? All right, now bend that knee of the lifted leg, straighten the other leg on the ground, and then drape the bent knee over across the body for a twist and look the other way. And then bring that back to center. That foot goes on the floor. The other leg goes up toward the sky. Same thing, straighten the knee, hold it with your hand, toes to the shin, heel to the ceiling, tailbone to the floor. Push that tail down. And then turn it outward, hold it again. This is a good one to do with your loop wrapped around the bottom of your foot or a yoga strap. And then you can hold and pull gently. It's a little harder to hold this way. Okay, bend the knee of that lifted leg, other leg goes straight on the floor. Drape that bent knee across the body and then look the other way. And then come out of that 
Nice and easy. Go ahead and roll yourself up to a seated position. Sit facing forward. Bring your left arm up, reach it up toward the ceiling, and then bend your elbow, pat yourself on the back, and then reach that elbow toward the sky. You can use the other hand to either push it from the front, pull it from overhead. And relax out of that other side, right arm up, bend the elbow, pat yourself on the back, reach the elbow for the ceiling. And really reach through the elbow. So you do tip a little bit to one side. And relax out of that. I want you to turn to your left and then reach with your right arm away and across the body. That hand can rest on the floor, but if you lift it and reach holding it there, you're gonna feel it differently. Left hand is supporting however you need it to. And sit up, same thing, other side. Reach across the body. Reach long. I'm stretchier on this side than I am on the other. Go ahead and sit up. One more stretch. Bring the bottom of your feet together. And then use your hands on your wrist to kind or hands on your ankles to kind of pull those heels in a little bit tighter. Butterfly legs. Sit really tall first, you'll feel a stretch, then hinge forward with a straight back. A lot of times we round and we try to bring our head toward our toes. I want you to be long and just lean into that. Feel a nice stretch way up inner thigh hips. Years ago, I got it to where I could pretty much lay down on this, but it's been a while. <laughs> I had to work at that for a little bit. And just remember when you're on your own, the longer you can hold the stretch, the better off it is because you feel yourself sort of relax. You have to override that stretch reflex that's resisting the stretch. So we don't really do it long enough, but sit comfortably, inhale, one ar arms overhead, one deep breath in and exhale. We're all done. Thank you. Thanks, Laura.